What up, guys? Kind of pretty easy to here today doing a deck profile of the Naganadel GX Ultra Beast Toolbox deck. Um, for these Forbidden Light deck profiles, I am going to do the new decks first, and I'm going to those, do those from most hyped to least hyped. And then I'm going to do updated versions of uh, current decks, which I don't think most decks honestly gain anything from the n from Forbidden Light. Um, some do. But I don't think most of them do. Um, so, for Poiple, um, this doesn't do anything relevant, so I'm not going to explain what it does. Um, it's second attack. Um, it does make it so if you're knocked out, if it's knocked out next turn, um, your opponent doesn't take a prize card. Um, three Naganadel GX, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, for one colorless energy, it does 20 damage times the number of Ultra Beasts you have in play. Um, it's second attack, which you really won't use very often, um, because there's no DCEs or Psychic Energies. Um, it does 110 and goes through your assist, uh, opponent's resistance. Um, and then, it's GX attack is pretty cool, but you don't really get to use it that often. Um, it uh, puts both players at three prize cards, so ideally, you can use this if you are winning, or no, if your opponent's winning, and you're really behind on prizes, and just set everyone at three prize cards. Um, problem this is kind of problematic because it's weak to Psychic, so I don't know that this deck will see much play, but it is a pretty fun deck. Um, one Dawn Wings, um, so you can switch between attackers, um, and you can get rid of, like, special conditions if that's a problem. Um, one Kartana. Um, you could actually bump this to two, I think, but, um, when you play it down, um, you discard one of your opponent's special energies, so that's pretty nice ability, and also has Blade GX, where you can just take a prize card, so that's pretty lovely. Um, one Nihiligo GX, this is another thing, kind of like Kartana, where you play it, um, both Pokemon are confused and poisoned, um, and you can use Dawn Wings to, um, uh, Switch. Uh, get rid of your stuff, your condition. I can't talk. Um, one buzzwool because jet punch is a nice attack. You won't really often use knuckle impact. Um, absorption you can use occasionally, but I you really don't want to use absorption that often. Um, the regular buzzwool for one fighting energy does thirty, and if your opponent has four prize cards left, it does one hundred and twenty for one energy. So that's awesome. One Duskman Necrozma. Um, I don't know why that's in Japanese because it's actually a legal card in the standard, but um, it does 60 damage to one of your opponent's EXs or GXs. Um, and then the second attack is irrelevant. Same for Buzzle. Second attack is irrelevant. I don't even know what it does. And then two Lele to get supporters. So one thing you'll notice is every single Pokemon in this deck, except for Tapu Lele, is an Ultra Beast. So. It does like 120, I believe, when you have a full thing of Ultra Beasts. Uh, Fort Guzman to switch um, your Pokemon and your opponent's Pokemon. And since you have Dawn Wings, Necrozma, you, it doesn't really matter what you switch into, usually. Um, for draw support, we have two Sycamore, no, three N, two Sycamore, two Cynthia, um, and one Ultra Recon Squad. Um, Ultra Recon, Recon Squad is a new card. You can discard up to two Ultra Beasts from your hand, and draw three cards per Ultra Beast you discard. And one Lily, because you kind of need to draw some cards turn one, um, so Lily is your ideal turn one play. Um, and Lily is obviously not a new card. Three Ultra Space, um, once per turn you can search your deck for an Ultra Beast and put it into your hand. Um, four Ultra Ball to get your Pokemon out. Um, you could also use Beast Ball, um, but because you need to get Lele, I think Ultra Ball might actually be better. Um, I also think Beast Ball requires you to put it on your bench. Um, it might be the same with Ultra Space. Three Choice Band to increase your damage. Three Float Stones so that you can retreat your Pokemon. Um, Naganadel does actually only have a one retreat cost, so that's pretty nice. Um, three Beast Ring um, I don't completely remember what it is. I'm almost positive it's when you are at three or four prize cards, 
you can attach two energies from your deck or discard pile to one of your Pokemon. Or one of your Ultra Beasts. Um, it's something to that extent. And two Max Elixirs, um, just more energy acceleration. There are ten basic energies in this deck, so... Um, two recovery cards, Rescue Treasure and Super Rod. Um, Super Rod shuffles in energy so that you can use your Beast Rings and Max Elixirs. And then Rescue Stretcher can put your Pokemon um, back onto your bench. Um, one Field Blower to get rid of Garb's ability. That's annoying, but... And, and to get rid of Peril City. But most of the time, you don't really need to use Field Blower. Um, and then there is six Fighting Energies, four Metal Energies, and a Beast Energy. Beast Energy is a Rainbow Energy when it's attached to an Ultra Beast. And it also makes Ultra Beasts do 30 more damage. Um, so yeah, um, overall this deck seems pretty cool. Um, one version that I kind of want to try out is, instead of playing, like, Duskman, or, yeah, Duskmane and, like, Buzzwool and, um, those, play, like, two Kartana GX and three Nihiligo GX, and then just play Metal Energies, or maybe play, like, three Psychic Energies and seven Metal Energies. Um, and that's another version I want to try out, um, but, yeah, I don't know how good that will be. Um, anyways, leave a like and subscribe to Caterpie TCG for more deck profiles and stuff. Um, and like I said, I'm doing a lot of Forbidden Light stuff, so, yeah.